Play it again. You didn't waste any time, did you? And uh, why are we here? On Friday at 7 p.m., Sonny is expecting a shipment of coffee. He'll be here to sign off on it. It's all very legit. How'd you know this? I know. He'll have at least two bodyguards. Now the custom inspectors will be here so he can sign off on it in person. He can't risk having guards around. I can do this. Good. Then we're agreed Sonny dies on Friday. Sonny, that's Devlin. That's Jerry Jacks. Claudia, this recording is dated March 31st, 2008. Michael was shot that Friday, April 4th. This proves that Claudia ordered the hit. What do you want to do about it? Uh, when Devlin died, he said there's more. So Sam and I dug around him and found it. The Devlin recorded a lot of his legal business conversations. They hit him at the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, we, we turned up an old gym bag that was in Ian's locker, and in the gym bag was a lot of cash and, and, and these recordings, Sonny. What was on the, on the recordings? Uh, drug deals, mostly. I mean, there was one call with a woman, Claudia, agreeing to do the hit. This right here, this was in the gym bag. The voices are clear. Claudia is the one who sent Ian to the warehouse. She's the reason that this happened. Remember the game that Jerry played with the DVDs and Claudia and the whole thing? Yeah, I remember the game. Jerry was telling the truth. Claudia was guilty. She lied her way out of it. Look, I, I, I know that you don't want to hear this right now. You know what? But it's just I something got, that... I got a birthday party to go to. And it starts in an hour, and I expect you to be there. It's real. Okay. What did he say? Sonny listened to the recording and then said he had to go to Claudia's birthday party. Uh, okay. Jason, maybe he's in shock. Or, what? Then maybe he doesn't care anymore. It doesn't anymore. matter. It doesn't matter if he cares. I care. Okay, I just need you to hear me out. Okay. Okay, you know that I can't let Claudia get away with what she's done, even if it means going against what Sonny says. Jason, you don't know how Sonny feels about this yet. You don't, you don't know what S he's going to do. He's going to a party. Okay, I understand the guy's in a tough spot right now, and I'm, I'm, I'm trusting that he's going to do the right thing, but if he doesn't, I'm telling no, you No, right no, 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 wait, please, please. Personally, I want Claudia to ride in hell, just like you. You have already lost so much, Jason. Michael could turn on you. Sonny could turn on you. He may not be in love with her, but he certainly likes being married to her. Killing her would be the ultimate act of defiance. You could wind up losing everything that matters to you. If I go against what Sonny says, and I kill Claudia, I'm probably gonna have to leave the organization. I'm probably gonna have to leave town, Sam. It may not come to that, Jason. It may not. You don't know what's in Sonny's head. Maybe he's processing, thinking about how he's supposed to respond. He's believed Claudia's story for months. He's got to feel betrayed. Or maybe he's questioning his own instincts, wondering why he didn't see this coming himself. Jason, you've got to give him some time. Okay. Okay, but if he doesn't take care of Claudia, I am. It's a pretty big turn on, and Claudia does look happy. Which means Sonny's told her nothing. Jason looks a little more intense than usual tonight. Yeah, well, he's not exactly Claudia's biggest fan. Look, I don't want trouble, okay? I went along with this party because Carly insisted. If you know something's going on, you let me know. No, nothing's going to go on tonight. Not that I'm aware. Well, you let me know if you hear otherwise. <laughs> Can I, can I get everybody's attention, please? Uh, just, just for a little bit here. 
Um, I want to thank everybody for coming to celebrate Claudia's birthday party. Uh, there's, a, there, there's just a few things that I'd like that I'd like to say about my lovely wife. Jason, my my right hand man, my best friend. You, you, I, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You've stood by me, you know. Sometimes the price has been high, very high. I'm gonna say you changed my life. You left a, a permanent mark on me and my children. You showed me the value of trust and honor and how worthless any promise or anybody is without that. You're, you're, you're everything that everybody warned me that I'd uh, get in the end. You tried to kill me. And you shot my son instead, you faithless bitch. What are you talking about? That's not true. That is not true, <laughs> everybody. That, where is this coming from? Okay. From Jason? Sonny, he hates me. That is not true. I need a minute to talk with my husband. No, 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 just... no, no. I apologize to everybody here for, you know, thinking you're, you're coming to a celebration. I, I, I apologize for putting up with her lies and I apologize for any pain and, and damage that she has inflicted on anyone. It ends tonight. I should have trusted my instincts. I didn't go with my gut. But I assure you, Claudia has lied to us all for the last time. Now that I know the truth, I know that there are other people involved in what happened to my son trying to cover up the truth. Believe me. They will be dealt with. That's enough, Sonny. I'm not way finished. To do this. Hey. I, I married Claudia because of a business decision. I let my greed and ambition call the shots. I let her convince me to stay in the marriage, to stay in the life like nothing ever happened. And the whole time, she knew she was responsible for putting my son in a coma. No guilt, no remorse for your own gain. You left my son to die on the floor. Stepped over his body. Okay, you are wrong, Sonny. That is not how it happened. It was me, all right? I called out the hit. I got your son shot. Oh, now, now you're loyal to Claudia. You're lying, Johnny. Claudia had nothing to do I with this, Sonny. Nothing whatsoever. I would be happy to get rid of you. But I heard the evidence. She picked the time, she picked the place. She hired Ian Devlin and Jerry Jacks. Yes, Jerry Jacks. The brother of the man who married Carly. Go ahead, Jax. Tell everybody how long you knew this, this news. That your, your brother got your stepson shot. Sonny, stop. That you covered it. Tell everybody how long you covered for that psychotic. Stop. Just stop, okay? Whatever you think, whatever lies you believe, I never intentionally hurt Michael. I would never do that. And however this marriage started out, it was real. We belong together. We made a child together. And for the sake of that- Shut up! Thank God! For that car accident, thank God that the, 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 that poor baby was never born to live in our lives. You got pregnant 
to cover your ass as an insurance plan. Thank God you, you'll never bear my child. Our baby's death was a blessing. You're a sick, self-righteous son of a bitch. Go ahead. Say whatever you want about me, whatever your little robot hitman tells you. Everybody in this room knows you let your kids run wild, you let your kids get shot at, and it's your damn fault that your son was in that warehouse in the first place! Shut up, you, you lying! Shut, shut up, you lying whore! Don't you even mention my son after what you did to him, you psychotic piece of trash! Take her! No, you get Take her! her. No. Back.